Okay, who is the inner child? And there are a lot of different, different ways to describe the inner child. And the simplest way is the inner child is, is the part of your mind that was affected during your childhood. Uh, the inner child was affected by the event and usually several events, not one. And uh, that was the event that the child could not process. Child uh, does not understand why uh, a traumatic event happened to him, but he can feel the pain. Uh, child has emotions, child has feelings, and he does not know what to do with this pain, with these feelings. Uh, some people say that their childhood was not that bad. They had like a pretty happy childhood. And it's not about how bad your childhood was. It's about how did you deal with a stress situation? How did you overcome some traumatic events in your life? And siblings can go through the same experience, but deal with it differently. And they might have different childhood traumas. And as a result, they have different life when they grow up. One person might be successful and another child might become a drug addict, addict right? So because uh, the child uh, that within us, the, our inner child, so because the child, because we could not deal with some traumatic problems with the events uh, in our childhood in order to survive we create we created defensive mechanisms and filters and filter is a perception of how we look on things how we judge other people how we explain ourselves what is happening to us in our life filters are like sunglasses so when you wear a sunglasses everything you see in the specific color uh, or for example filters on your phone when you want to judge the color of your picture so filters is the same if you wear in black sunglasses you see everything in a dark color and let's say one partner wears black sunglasses and another partner wears pink sunglasses so she sees everything in pink everything is nice and bright and another person uh, sees the world in negative uh, colors right so those Two so people, they cannot understand each other. This is the obstacle to life because we all have filters and our filters conflict with each other. And as you see, uh, this is the photo how the how we use filters. So we can see the same tree under different colors. Uh, example. Uh, for example, a girl had the emotionally unavailable father. And the emotionally unavailable means that... Um, he did not pay attention to her. Uh, he did not hug her. He did not uh, ask her about her feelings, her, her emotions. He did not compliment her. So he was cold and he was uh, emotionally unavailable. He was unavailable uh, for his little girl. And for many years, this girl had to earn his love, had to earn his attention. And now she's 25 and she uh, falls in love with a narcissistic person selfish husband selfish boyfriend because she used to the she is used to to the idea that she has to earn his love earn his attention and now she is in a relationship with a selfish selfish person and she is trying to earn his love for her love equal pain and um, in order to she cannot be with a normal person because for her it's not it's boring and in order to have emotions in order to have like romantic roller coasters she has to be with a person who does not respect her uh, with the person with whom she has to earn his attention she has to earn his love another example uh, a father died when uh, the girl was seven years old and now um, she cannot find the soulmate. Why? Because uh, when she lost her father, she um, felt a huge pain uh, in her heart, in, inside of her, and she learned that um, love hurts. I cannot trust men. 
My father left me when I was seven and now I cannot trust men. So when she meets a guy, she cannot go into the deep relationship. She can hang out with them, she can have a good time, but when it comes to serious relationship, when it comes to vulnerability, she cannot, she cannot go further. So she, she is 50 right now and she cannot create a loving relationship because her childhood trauma teach her that love hurts you cannot trust men and she wants to find a partner she wants to be happy she wants to be with a man but her fear is bigger than her her fear is so big that she does not even realize it so uh, what are obstacles to love obstacles to love is our filters and our defensive mechanisms that we created in our childhood and everyone has filters dozen of them some filters are helpful and healthy and some filters are not uh, the child creates filters or defensive mechanisms and he looks to life through those filters for the rest of his life and he teaches his kids how to use the same filters so filters stopping us from being happy filters are stopping us from achieving our goals and we had to create them in our childhood because we had to survive. We have to deal somehow with the pain and traumatic events that happened to us. But we're not children anymore. And right now we don't need uh, those filters, but we still use them. So let's talk about why it's so difficult, why it's so hard to let go of those filters. And uh, the first reason is often we can't let them go because we don't realize that we have them. We just simply don't uh, realize that we might have a trust issue or we might have a control issue. For us, it's normal. We're used to those filters. We use them every day and when people uh, say something like, you should let go of your control, you should not be so strict. A woman can say like what are you talking about so we don't know uh, that we have them that's why we cannot let go of them the second reason uh, that we don't know how we can live without filters so we know the old way and even if it's not working for us we know how to use the old way but how to live differently we don't know uh, for example, a girl used to idea that she cannot trust men and she develops uh, a mechanism where she is in control of everything. She is the responsible one. She has to control uh, her work. She has to control um, everything in, in, at her house. And she becomes like a control person for everything that's happening in her life, in her relative's life, in her friend's life. And she wants to meet a successful man, but she can't. Why? Because successful man does not need a woman who is going to control his life. He does not need a woman who is going to control his house and who is going to tell him what to do. If the man is successful, if he is the leader, he is used to control himself. He is the one who likes to control, who likes to lead. And at the same time, she has uh, a defensive mechanism, a filter that's called control. So they cannot be together. And this woman, she wants to be with a strong, successful man, but she's lonely. She cannot find such men. Another example. Uh, a woman complains that her husband does not make enough money or maybe does not help her with kids. And this happens also because of her desire to control everything. Her inner child is in charge. She cannot let go of her control. She cannot relax. And her husband, he's okay with that. He has a wonderful wife who is cooking, cleaning, planning vacation, taking care of kids, making money. Yes, she complains, complains time to time, but overall he's pretty happy. He has an easy life and she is in control. This is how our filters work. We complain about something, but uh, often we create those situations. Let me know if you are agree in the chat. Let me know what's your thoughts about uh, those filters and if you notice those filters in your life or in your partners.